안녕하세요. Hello everyone. Welcome to Korean class. Do you know any Korean? I assume some of you may know some Korean or maybe you don't have any background information about Korean. That's fine. We are going to start from the very beginning. So, you know, if even if you don't know anything about Korean language, that's fine. Um, today we are going to start from the writing system of Korea, which is called Hangul. Hangul. I wrote Hangul in, in Korean letter. It looks like this. And this is read Hangul. Hangul is similar to uh, English alphabet. So Hangul has vowels and consonants, and we mix them, you know, combine them, make syllables. So today we are going to talk about simple vowels. So there are simple vowels and you know, some complicated vowels. So today and next time, we're going to you know, learn uh, vowels. And then you know, we'll go on to move on to consonants. So let me write down simple vowels for you. When you write hangul, by the way, when you write hangul, there is one rule. You have to write from top to bottom and left to right. So first letter is this. So long vertical line and short horizontal line. Its sound value is ah, ah. So try to repeat after me, ah, ah. And second one is this short horizontal line first, and then from top to bottom. And its sound value is ah, ah. It's not o. Oh, but I put this diacritic mark here uh, to indicate that it's different from O. It's O. O. Just try to imitate my pronunciation you know, at this stage. I'm going to talk more details later. O. This one was A and O. The third one is short vertical line and long horizontal line. And its sound value is O. O. O, O, similar but different, right? The next one is long horizontal line and short vertical line. And its sound value is U, U, okay? And the next one is just long horizontal line, that's it. And its sound value is U. Mm. So similar, but a little different. So I put this diacritic mark here. Mm. Mm. And the next one is just long vertical line. And its sound value is E. E. So it's easy, right? So repeat after me. The first one. Ah. Ah. Open your mouth wide and make your lips, the shape of your lip. Uh, surround. It's ah, ah. Okay. When you pronounce Korean vowels, your shape of lips and your how much open your mouth, like your jaw position is important. So for ah, your jaw, you should open your mouth wide ah, and make your lips round. Ah, ah. Okay. And the second one, oh. Oh, so you don't open your mouth as much as when you pronounce ah, but still, like it's a middle, like like relaxed, you know, you just relax your your muscle here. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you can imagine like this kind of sound. Oh, oh, okay. So your lip shape of your lip is just relaxed way. Oh, oh, it's not like ah, but oh, oh, oh. And the third one. This is O, O. So you have to open your mouth. Actually, you have to like uh, drop your jaw quite a lot, you know, as you pronounce ah. But you make your lips round and small, like O, 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 O. It's not difficult, right? It's not like English O. It's O in they say O, but it's a, just a constant sound. O, O, okay? So, A, O, O, and this one is U, U. The shape of your lips is round, still round, 
and you can you should put it a little forward like ooh, 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 like this but you don't you don't drop your jaw like oh oh but for ooh, you you don't drop your jaw like this ooh, 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 ooh. okay so ah oh oh ooh. and the next one is very similar to ooh, but you just change your shape of your lips like flat, like this shape. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, uh. So you can hear the difference, right? So, uh, uh. The last one is e, e, e. So when you pronounce these simple vowels, you don't change your shape of your lips. From the beginning to the end, your mouth shape is the same. Ah, like, you know, just one shape, right? Oh, well, what was this? Oh, and this one? Ooh, and this one? Ooh, uh. and the last one? E. So, simple, right? Ah, E, they are easy, but some students get confused between O oh and O, oh, O oh and O. Oh. And um, some students confuse between U and U, so we are going to practice them more, okay? For simple vowels, we have two more. This looks like A, ah, but add this. Okay, we have some streak here. A ah and E, actually it's a combination of A ah and E. Its sound value is E. So it's somewhere between A and E in eh, eh, okay? The next one is, this is O and one, this E here, so O and E combination. And its sound value is E, E, E. They are very similar. So even Korean speakers cannot distinguish them if we just casually speak one of them, E. Eh. And which one? Then Korean speakers get confused. Which one? A plus E or A plus E? e. Maybe they will ask you like that. But when you hear uh, them in a word, then you know, Korean people can recognize, ah, this is this, like, eggy. Eggy means baby. And Korean people, when, when they hear this word, they know that, ah, this is this e. Right? Yeah. And uh, ne. Ne means yes in Korean, but when Korean people hear this, uh, they know uh, this is this one, not this one. So in words they can recognize, but but sounds itself very similar. E and e, 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 e. Can you hear a little different? Like for this one, e, e, you like you open your mouth a little more, like more widely. E, e, e. For this one. Eh, 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 Maybe a slight difference, but they are really similar. But don't worry about that. Uh, you will learn words, and you will, you eventually, you could, you know, recognize their their difference in in words. Okay, uh, let's read them uh, again. Mm. Please uh, try to imitate my pronunciation. The first one, ah, ah, and the second one. Oh, oh, and the third one, oh, oh, ooh, 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 e, 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 and this one, e. Eh. Okay, that's it. They are simple vowels. So next time, um, we are going to practice diphthong letters. Diphthong means complicated vowels. <laughs> diphthong letters means like combined uh, like vowels. So I'm going to introduce you to diphthong letters next time. Okay, so that is, you know, simple vowels. Pl please, you know, try to practice uh, simple vowels by yourself. Okay, 감사합니다. Thank you very much.